G'day guys and girls, it is your boy Tempsits. Welcome to episode number 3 of the Yamaha XSR900 Scrambler build. Now today we're going to be looking at lighting. That's right, if we crank this bad boy up, you'll see oh, one of my least favourite things about this bike is that it's it's quite a quite a modern bike and yet it comes with an old school halogen headlight. So we're going to replace that with a 5.75 inch replacement that I got off of Amazon. So I'll have links up to everything. But yeah, we'll pull this off, put it in, and while we're doing it, we're also going to look at chucking on some different indicators for a little bit more swag. Enjoy. Alrighty, so we've just mocked up what she looks like in the stock housing. Now there's a bit of a gap around here and the way that I've done it is basically, as you can see on the back here, there's uh, the two bolts that came with it. In here there was a little tab there, so I ground off the tab so that I could fit this whole thing in it, stuffed it in there, found a couple of brackets here and zip tied the whole thing together. Now I tell you what, it is pretty stable. I've taken it for a bit of a test ride, haven't had any issues, so now we just need to look at filling up that gap there. And to do that, I have some non-sponsored uh, little weather stripping tape. So I'll feed some of that in around here, and hopefully that works. Alright, now while you've got your headlight apart, we're going to take the indicators out. So you can see I've already taken this side out. So what happens is down here you've got a couple of little plugs. All right, so these little plugs, they've got a grey one and a black one is the right indicator. The grey one is the left indicator. So what you do is uh, they've got a little pull pin on them. You just lift that up, pull the end out. In here there's a little uh, adjustable zip tie that you use to loosen it. Feed the wire out and then you pull it out through the side here. So we're going to get rid of these stock ones and uh, put on some uh, cooler looking ones. Alright, that light source is uh, horrible. Now um, I'm not going to show me soldering because that's really quite boring and I'm not amazing at it. But the thing that I wanted to mention is that these eBay ones that I have, oh, let's get out of the light, uh, they come with three wires. Oh, that's They've got a black, a red, and a green. Um, for this, for front indicators, you want to use the black for the for the negative, and you want to use the green one for the indicator. The red one is like a red light, so it does red and yellow, but we're just putting them on the front. So you don't need to use that one, so get rid of that and just use the black and the green. Alrighty, now as you can see, we've got the old one on the left and the new one on the right. So. Let's have a look at the little bit of differences between them. Not so bright. Very nice. So basically what we've done here is put the new one on this side, the old one on that side. Now they do still flash very fast, so we've got a, uh, a little flasher relay to replace over when this is all done. But now I'm going to do the next side. So pull the black one out and fix it up over there. Alrighty, so the final piece of the puzzle, plug in the new light in. Now everything's been tested, is working. Now that is plug and play. So we're just going to line up the little brackety bit, pop it in. And voila, we now have headlight and indicators done. So we're just going to test, make sure they're working. Alright. 
left indicator flashes like crazy, right indicator flashes like crazy, and the headlight turns on. Now, just like the Motodemic one, I haven't put, haven't wired up the Parker, don't really need it. The main headlight will light up when it turns on, as we will see. Pull out the one that's in there. Plug in the new one. And give it a test. And would you look at that? Perfect. Oh, alrighty. Thanks, guys, for watching this episode, episode number three of the Yamaha XSH900 Scrambler build. Headlights looking schmick, indicators looking nice, and they all flush properly. Now, a couple of little things. The Motodemic, Motodemic sell a drop-in plug-and-play headlight and they also sell an adapter for it. The headlights, the JW speaker headlight, very expensive. This one was like 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. Um, and they also sell a bracket which is $189 US plus delivery. And then whatever that is to Australian which is about $4,000. <laughs> um, so I've done it a little bit cheaper, that's what I want to do. Now it's not perfect, but for that budget side of things, I think it's good enough. If you've got the money, go ahead and do it. I don't, and no one wanted to send me one, so I thought I would sort it out myself. Uh, if in any case, anyone does want to send me something to, to put on the bike, feel free, and I'll uh, make a video for you. Thanks for that one, guys. Make sure you keep an eye out for the next one, and I'll be seeing you shortly. Peace. I'll, uh, I'll also make sure to have some real nice pictures of the headlight and footage of the headlight very shortly. It's all about